got here. Greetings, one and all. Chris Gordon here, New Pragmatic. It's um, it's time for the feedback loop. It's um, relatively light Wednesday, but that's that's actually good because today we are kicking off. We're kicking off something we haven't done in a while. We actually haven't done this since November, and that is the portfolio potluck is back. Uh, portfolio potluck. In case you are uh, un uninitiated, or maybe you've arrived since November, uh, it's basically where I throw open the doors and I say to designers who aren't actually part of New Pro uh, New Pragmatic uh, Nation, New Pragmatic Family, um, I basically say to them, "Hey, you know what? Uh, you could use a portfolio review. Why don't you bring bring your work on in?" So this morning, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to we're gonna do a little pre work on that. Uh, because there are a lot of things that you can do to that go beyond the portfolio um, to research people that are that are applying for for a job, and that's kind of what I'm I'm looking at here. I'm looking at okay, when somebody when somebody submits their portfolio, what else does that hiring manager do? What else does that person that's um, comparing the options do? So we're going to look at that, um, but also James, um, James really pushing ahead, has um, has immediately jumped back in with another round of work to um, to look at. So I'm excited to see what what we have there, and uh, you know I'm just going to jump in. I'm just going to jump in because there's no reason to um, there's no reason to hold off on this. So uh, so let's uh, I can't actually change screens with a beverage in my hand. Um, not that it's that kind of beverage, folks. It's way too early in the morning. But let's get this underway. All right. So um, I'm actually going to start with James. You know, let's start with paying customers first. Uh, <laughs> so James, uh, uh, hey, glad you could use. Glad you were able to use the feedback. Um, you fixed the, uh, the segmentation slider. You updated the button bar, active, inactive. Uh, you added some more padding, basically. Added some more. So, so yesterday was all about like, let's get some air in this thing. Like you, you, add, and what's what's weird? What a lot of people may not realize if they saw the first version of your work is you had already added air. You had added air into it from the from V1. So V2 had air, but it didn't have like it had half as much air as we wanted it to have for it to feel like a modern iOS application. Um, so we needed to get some more air in there for it to feel like it for, for it to feel like it was at home. Um, you added a new home view for subscribed podcast. All right, so you've you've taken it and you've pushed it forward a little bit. As far as the line work goes for the buttons, I made it that way to keep it in line with the way Twitter currently styles their inactive buttons. Should I keep that styling since the concept app since it's a concept app around Twitter well it's completely fine to have inspiration from from a um, from a particular brand uh, I you know I've been a f fan of Twitter I remember I had um, there was a guy out of Australia who made a Res, quote responsive he had he made a mobile specific site that was a version of Twitter and you could save it to your home screen because there were no there wasn't an app store yet that's how long I've been hanging around with Twitter I, I, I I've been around since I've been around with Twitter since before there was an app store um, God I'm old Anyway, that would be like 13 years at this No, 12 years. We're 12 years in on the App Store at this point. I think 2008. 2007 phone was released. 2008 App Store came. I, I changed jobs right around then. Because um, I, I knew the App Store was coming. I just, I, I, I want to be an app designer. What do you mean you want to be an app designer? There's no App Store. There will be. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's, uh, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, well, that's that's Bergen, and we're going to look at that. Uh, not Bergen, that's that's Tejal, and that's me. That's a really weird weird place for, for me to stop that image. Oh, it's over here. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go ahead and take a peek in on this. Um, so, as usual, 
let's see. I, I want to zoom out really quick to see what we got. Okay, so James, good job. You're using your pages properly. I appreciate that, man. Oh, God, do I appreciate that. As a matter of fact, I would suggest that you take the old old versions, which we'll just take a quick look at the old versions. The old versions are over here. Um, take these old versions and put those on a, pa on a page that says prior. All right, so every, these, these, ver these are prior to uh, 323. Then you have 323, and that, then you'll have 324, which is where we are now. Fantastic work. All right, um, I'm going to turn that off. Um, I'm almost certain there is a way to hide guides, just because uh, I want to hide them all at the same time. But I don't recall what it is. So I'm going to have to go through. And let's see here. You said you added a... What page did you add? I'm going to rearrange my pages here. But... You said you added a new home view. All right, let's start with the home view. Why not? Um, do -do 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 -do. Uh, let's see, podcast player, player. Uh, I don't know. We'll start here. This this feels like the right one. And that's all I want to do. I just want to turn it off. Okay. So this is beginning to feel correct there um i'm curious if this view oh you cut it off okay one thing i would like to see is i, I would like to see this go off to the edge for your prototype uh here's basically why let me hop over into let me hop over into my let me hop over into my thing for a second uh we have a yeah, here it is. Scroll. I want to show you scroll examples. Um, I'm actually shooting a video based on what I'm about to show you here. And what I'd like for you to be able to do, if I can put this into prototype mode, is once it loads. I'd love it if your prototype was able to, oh, there it is was able to do this, okay? And you to do this, you have to have more in your, more in there for your, so here's like, um, the area is called top example. And I've got that within a frame. And this frame um, has five rectangles in it. But the frame itself is constricted. Okay, and the way that we know it's constricted is if I turn off clip content, you can see that there's more there. So for you, what I'd really like, and you know, I should I should double check this because it's it's really it's really odd that that would clip right there. I, I bet you you've done this. Did, oh, and I, okay. So host, 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 two times guest. Okay, so you've made a mask and you don't necessarily need to make a mask, okay? Um, you need to clip content. And I, I really do believe that if you could just have it, just, just have it go off to the side. Don't worry about masking it because clipping, when you put clip content on it, it will mask it, okay? Um, but that will give you the ability to slide that thing side to side, which is what this is supposed to do. Um, I do think there should be a break between these areas because, you know, let's think about what this is supposed to do. Is this whole thing supposed to slide up? Like, like it, it, what it feels like is that you have a region that goes side to side and then you have a region that goes up and down. The way it's designed, I feel like while this may go side to side, this entire region goes up and down. And that's fine. That's completely fine if it's, if it's that way. Um, this design doesn't remind me of Twitter, actually. It reminds me of Instagram, this whole paradigm 
reminds me of, of Instagram, um, which still has a segment of space. And it, it, um, what's interesting is there's typically a label with each of these, like explaining th why there is a visual difference between this and this. Um, so, th so think about that. Um, I, I do think that there's some value into having a little bit of sp a little bit of space between these uh, to indicate okay one touch zone versus another. And even if it all scrolls, I get it. But I want to know I want to know what the difference is. I, I, you know, because think about it. If I'm looking at this, um, you know, I don't necessarily right away know why these are presented differently from these. A label would help. Okay, so that's. And that's step one, um, and then I would love to see the I'd love to see it in prototype mode, being able to just scroll it. Um, and if you've got questions there, just know the video is forthcoming, but you may still have questions. Um, let's hop over here to podcasting pitch because I can already tell, even with all these all these crazy grids on, that this still feels lots better. Um, and I'm, and again, I'm just I'm just turning them off. I'm not not deleting them. I don't like to delete stuff from students. Um, okay, so there's there's a couple things I wanted to point out with regard to these individual icons. Um, first of all, I'd like I'd really like that you know instead of having the one that's larger, I'd like this. I, I, th I think about these things in terms of okay, how would I code this? And typically speaking, how I would code this is these would all, this would be like a UL, LI, and I probably wouldn't, like, I would just make them uniform. So, something to think about, you know, I know that you have a slightly larger play button, and, you know, but hold on to that. Um, the other thing I want to look at, because you brought up, um, because you brought up Twitter, I want to actually go look at Twitter. I want to I want to try to reference where you're at up here with it. Um, Fox.com weekly. I am curious what happens here with when I get uh, the Investor Weekly or um, the Atlantic, like um, Los Angeles Times. Uh, like what happens when this gets long? Okay. Um, you know, because this is, this is like suspiciously short. Vox.com just happens to fit. Okay. And, and I, I admit, hey, they did a great job of picking up that URL. Cause, I mean, six characters, but I'm, d I'm just suspicious of it. I, you know, that, that's, that's where I'm going to leave that. But regarding the icons, let's hop over here to Twitter. Let, you know, you said Twitter's the... Twitter is the impetus for this. So let's take a look. Now, in some spaces, like up here, I see I see the icons the way that you're talking about, okay? That's very clear. The interesting thing though is what I really see is, um, by the way, Sherlene King, she's amazing. Um, what I really see is I see icons that are gray and then upon selection, they do something, they, they turn a color. Um, you know, when this is active, when I hover over, it turns a color. So, you know, the question, you know, this feels more aligned with this. Now, when we go to the actual page, so I'm gonna go to Charlene's page, because you know, again, she's cool. Um, Salesforce designer, um, hey, thank you, Tiny Tank. Um, so again, this feed, Yeah, I got a lot of notifications. Come on. There we go. Sorry, my trackpad is a little little uh, hinky this morning. Now here, you know, I get that. Um, you've got something very similar going on here. So, you know, if you were saying, oh, I'm inspired by this, it's all I get, you're right. Those, if, if you're following that design pattern, those should be active, but these down here, I really believe are are not falling in line with that. They they you know they they do activate on hover, right? 
um, but but there isn't really a corollary for for um, for mobile. Now, w one thing I would say is that if you want it to like make this the anchor that's the trigger, um, then I, I could see that. However, um, you know, this is where I tend to research, like, how do the other podcasting apps do it? And for that, I'm going to go over here to, is it Mobbin? Um, yeah, latest design mobile patterns. And again, you know, the reason we're spending so much time on the visual design of this application is that, you know, James is elevating it for an internship he's going for. Um, and and I, I want to help him push it forward without rethinking the whole thing because he's got to turn, he, the, the target's like a week away. Um, so with this, what I want to look, look for is, um, actually I'm just going to go to apps and we're, I'm going to type in podcast. No apps found. Um, iTunes. Really weird. Okay, well, that's different. Um, well, I don't want to. I, I do not want to have to go through here. Um, playlist. Uh, um, list. So let's see. Let's see what we get here we dig into the patterns okay so that's not quite what I'm looking for I'm looking for something that has a lot of controls with it and you know this, you know, this kind of follows um, the pattern of the grayed out icons if it's not active at that particular moment um, this does not follow that. That would be Twitch. Twitch's color is purple, which explains why all their all their information symbols are purple. Um, but I but I would suggest diving in and finding you know similar you know how are the apps that are in the space that I'm in doing it for comparative sake. Um, I'm pretty sure you know Twitter is not a bad place to start for the record um and actually i'm curious because you'd you'd mentioned let's go back over to apps you'd mentioned specifically twitter you know um i have not oh, okay so twitter's in here in mobbin which is great because i don't want to go do all these screenshots um so you know, when we look at this list view, it very much is, you know, kind of, I mean, it's it's one-to-one. -one. They're using the same design system for their website as they are using for the mobile apps. So that's fine. It, this is this is working for me the way it's set up. Um, I, I do think that, I do think that, you know, making those adjustments, the direction that we were talking about, is in line um i i do think like when something is has been activated uh like the bookmark over here i think it's i think it's fine to do exactly what you've done um you know the question question i have uh, really comes back to up here now like the arrange like i want to see i really want to see this set up rethought in that um, it seems like we're squeezing this information yeah, this this is not a you know that's not a legitimate URL to bank on and if that gets any longer than six characters you're dead so unless it's salon.com and vox.com you're not going to be able to put anything in there so now, now that we've kind of addressed some of these other things, I would just begin to turn my attention to this area right here. Um, because, you know, when we look at a grid, 
I'm looking at this and I'm saying, oh, well, this should line up and that's not lining up. It's really close to this. So why is that? Um, is this a situation where these need to, you know, these elements should line up above and, you know, Vox.com gets its own, you know, it gets the full length and then the time symbol gets weekly and then th these things are, you know, it's subscribe, you know, maybe, maybe what I'm talking about here is I'm talking about bringing this up. I'm talking about bringing this down. I'm talking about, and then I'm talking about, you know, if subscribed is over to the right, you know, these icons are over to the left, giving you some space to like not accidentally hit your finger. Uh, or not accidentally press. Uh, maybe these are at the top and this information is based here but stacked. So you've got room, okay? Um, and then you, you know, you give this, give, you give this air, this intro a little more space. I'm gonna undo all that because I, I don't want, I don't want to enforce upon you my, my designs. I want you to come up with a better usage of the space. And and I think once you once you see like the once you see this that this guide that none of this lines up, that's when it's like I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it because this isn't lining up. And most importantly, I'm not giving myself room to avoid an accidental click here. I'm not giving my my information. You know, this is this is not information that you get to cherry pick. Okay, it's going to come from a source that you do not select, and that URL could be anything. So you're going to need something that's longer bonus is um, while most URLs aren't supposed to wrap um, you know you could you could also do something else you could like have this here and have this over here and you know I hate that but and that could give you almost all of this because this is what is this weekly daily monthly you know that bi-weekly you know that's as long as that ta that's ever going to get so then you'd have all this space to run. You'd still have to figure out something to do here, all right? But that's fine. Um, you know, overall though, I, I think that I think that you you are talented. You can come through and figure this out and do something really good with it. So that's what I want to see. I want to see this area just rethought, all right? Um, and that's the you know, people ask this question all the time. They'll you know they'll, they'll say you know, gosh, every time I show this to you, you, you point a different thing out. Is there ever a point when you stop nitpicking? And the answer is no, absolutely not. I'm going to nitpick till they're, till we're blue in the face. Cause I'm wanting to continually push this forward. I'm not nitpicking cause I don't like you or something. I'm nitpicking because I, w I, I know this could be better. Every single design we've ever created could be better. All right. Um, when do you stop working on something? It's like an oil painting. When I run out of time, I, I stop working on it when I'm out of time. Okay. Um, I've got, you know, in, in, in that's a terrible way to put it because frankly, uh, you're not supposed to do that on client projects. When clients pay you to do a certain amount of work. And then once that's done, you should, you know, you should put, put your tools down, but I have a really hard time doing that. And the reason I have a hard time doing that is I like design. I, I, I nerd out about this stuff. Um, similarly, like the spacing on this icon is driving me nuts. Um, it doesn't quite line up. It's too close to, and you know, I look at it and like, okay, so now it's a little better, but you know what would be even better? That. It's just like, how can, and the reason is I want it, I want it to share a similar, uh, similar size with this and going wide doesn't work because I can't get the even spacing around. So little things like that, I'm going to undo it and then, you know, you're going to see it and you're going to be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that, that, that would drive you nuts. Okay. So, so focus in on the, you know, you're, you're applying to an internship at a very prestigious company. Focus in on the details, okay? Cannot, you know, that's a very minor thing. Can't let this stand, okay? Um, let's come in, go further. Oh, I love it. You remove the line work. That feels infinitely better. Um, again, this is this is where we, you know, 
I get the nerd out and, and talk about, you know, is this, um, oh, where is the grid? Oh, the, the grid's over the whole thing. Let's look at the new modal card. Let's hide that grid. Um, come on. There is a grid here and I want to, I want to get to it. I'm not sure where it's at. Oh yeah, I see that one. Anyway, my point is this this symbol. Um, it's not you know the triangle is off, and I don't really feel like it needs to be that big. You know. Uh, it also, you know, now now you've got pretty good spacing all the way around, and when you zoom out, you s you still see a play button. Um, if you're gonna stay here with it, at least make it um, at least make it to where the the edges the edges are are similar. The you know the space between each of the points, but I would come down with that so that you know. And I think that that might even still be my issue here is that. This triangle is just it's just pushing on the innards of the circle itself. Like, do you see the difference between the two? Like one feels like it's really tense and angry because it's like pushing. It like wait, like it feels like it's trying to escape the box, and the other one looks like it's it's playing nicely with the box. Just my two cents. Um, let's continue. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is the area that, you know, and what's funny? Oh, this is so funny. Think about what we talked about just a moment ago about giving this room to run. Okay. Look at your design solution here. Look at what you did with the same inf basic information over here. You know, you could flip weekly over here and have this go all the way across all by itself and be just fine. Just as you already have over here. You've already done this, this. Like, there is a design pattern that you already have that exists in your current thing. Like, use that. Okay? Um... Yeah, the... the, the you know... I'm gonna go back just because I wanna I wanna show where you were a day ago with this. Um, like, let's just focus in on this was you a day ago. Yeah, the same the, the same view at a day. Ago. Well, actually, no, actually, you were over here a day ago. The same view a day ago to now. That's so much better. Yeah. That's that's not good. Okay. This way better. All right. So I, I feel like I feel like we've I feel like if nothing else you've made big big strides here. Um, I want to see the same big strides applied here. I would encourage some spacing over here as well. Um, this pat design pattern is also going to impact uh, this podcast guests page because you're going to take that same design and bring it down. Uh, this would be a great place to come through and, and create a, a component so that you can reuse this thing over and over and over again. Um, because again, it shows up on a lot of screens. I'd, I'd do the same thing here. I'd create a comp component out of it. Um, but that's where I'm at with it, James. I, I do feel like this is, I do feel like this is moved forward, but it's moved forward to the point that we can now really start to talk about space and usage and things like that. Um, so I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I think you know what to do, all right? So let's take a look at some of these portfolios um, because I had, 
uh, yeah, I've pulled, well, let's see here. I've got Nicholas, and I've got Madeline, and I've got Pedjol. I could have sworn that I had a couple of others. Um, I want to go get those really fast because they are, yeah, it's weird. They, they loaded over here. <laughs> it's so bizarre. So I'm going to kind of load them into the same view so I have them. I'm not interested in closing these at all because I'm going to be using these in an hour or so for our uh, our drive through the the valley of portfolio of hot luck um so let's see here and yes i've got a lot of tabs open and i do apologize it's crazy I did not ask for another tab. Okay, we're gonna close this one down. It's on its own screen for no reason whatsoever. Okay. So this is taking just a second to load. It's not her site, I swear. It's the fact that I'm live streaming and I've got too many tabs open. All right, so we've got, the. there's five portfolios I'm gonna going to compare here. Um, I got Nicholas. I've got Madeline. I've got Tejel. I've got um, Christine. And I'm going to say Ajuna. I'm guessing that is correct. Um, no, I'm not trying, not trying to mispronounce. Uh, I'm just really terrible. I, I, I suck at words. Let's, is that is that a proper way to put it? Um, but right away, you know, I'm just gonna kind of roll through and take take a peek here. So it looks like, you know, it's so funny. I, I know I've I've written some of the exercises. Some of you are some of you are signing up for this, and you've been a part of a program that I might have created work for in the past. Um, some of these places I haven't worked at like since 2018. Um, other people like Nicholas here. Um, Nicholas is. Um, gotta be, you know, Nicholas has got to be somebody coming in from Chicago. I see a bunch of cars.com work and I know that their team is based here. Um, so, so that gives me an idea of, of, uh, where you're coming from. There's a little bit of information design in here. Um, okay. Interesting. All right. So. Um, I'm getting, a, a, like with Nicholas, I'm getting a wide breadth of, uh, there's like a lot of stuff here. Uh, so that's interesting to me. I want to, I want to dive in because I'm seeing just a ton of work. Um, I don't necessarily, like I'm going to click on the Toyota Camry. I'm not sure if I'm going to get like a case study or I'm going to get, um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting screens basically. Uh, you've got this in a PDF form. I don't necessarily know why it's in PDF form. I'm sure I'm gonna find out. Um, okay, so. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. Um, I, I don't know why I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world that it's in PDF, but I'm not going to print this out. Um, I'm not going to be able to read this on my phone. Um, you know, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to circle back to it. It seems to me like you could, you know, you could make a very simple, like one column design with some images that could go. Like you've got this. Like, why, why isn't this still all just here in the same spot? I know this is a cargo collective site. I'm curious if I inspect element. I, I don't, car, I recognize cargo collective, but I, I'm, I've never used it. So I'm guessing this is like a, a portfolio builder of sorts. Um, I'm just kind of digging into like how this has been Create it. 
and anytime I have a every anytime I have a curiosity about this, I always just go, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna go take a look at this cargo collective. Excellent. Um, let's go take a peek. What is cargo collective? Cargo dot site. And cargo is slowly loading. But your project's on the web. Okay, got it. That's fun. Um, not a big deal. Um, so this is like some, you know, portfolio builder thing. That's fine. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of having, having things in PDF form. I would just rather have the stuff where I can read it to be completely honest with you, but it's fine. You're, you, you are giving me a sense of your overall, uh, breadth of your design work. I, you know, here I've got, I've got, um, a bit longer of an intro. So it's showing me some work. Um, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not right away dr driven to go dig into a lot of, uh, PDFs. Okay. So the next one I'm going to go to is Madeline and Madeline, um, Madeline is, you know, I, I know this because I've been to Athens, Ohio a few times, uh, having spoken at um, the University of Ohio, and I remember Madeline, so hi, good good to see you. Um, so, aspiring graphic designer with specialization in marketing. Um, how do we get to your work? And this is on myportfolio.com, so I'm guessing it's kind of the same thing. Um, so when we're looking at this, okay, add Adobe portfolio. Okay, so this is another builder site, which is fine. Um, I'm not sure how to, you know, I need, I need you to like connect these up so I can make it to this page without you specifically sending me to your, to the work page. Cause if I click home, I'm trapped. I like, uh, how do I, how did I get back there? I don't know. Um, so you had the ridges project. I actually came down, um, for uh, the visual data, visual discovery conference or something. I honestly forget what that was, what that was, um, but I, we, we went to the ridges, I was, I was, this was like a, yeah, visual discovery com conference, so, um, this is like a YouTube video, you know, what's interesting, Madeline, is, um, I know that the video, you know, if I just hit play, it's a seven minute video, and there's lots of drone footage, um, and, I, I think Ryan Sparrow from Ball State was flying the drones. Um, I still would like for you to include some sort of uh, information, much you know, much like uh, Nicholas has done over here. Um, you know, give me a little bit of information about what I'm uh, what I'm looking at. Um, if I if like if Nicholas had just sent over, hey, here's the Spark Design System, and um, which is great, Cars.com created a design system. I would have no idea what this was if Nicholas hadn't included this bit of text telling me, hey, here's this design system. Um, you know, and even though it's in a PDF and I don't like the PDFs, I've got enough, I got enough information as, you know, I, I, I call, I, you know, I, I refer to, to people who come into portfolios and they just kind of read the first paragraph and they go, oh, okay, that's cool as a grazer they're just kind of coming through getting a broad swath of it they're just going on by they're not sticking around too long they're just grazing okay um you've got a video but i've kind of got to watch the video to to get a sense of what it is that 
I'm seeing and, and I still don't know like what did you did you shoot the video did you vo do the voiceover for the video what did you do on the video um, I know you did this infographic which is one of my favorite things that I saw this is Madeline Madeline went through and um, she's in a sorority at, in Athens and she went through and they've got these I don't know if you if, you're, if anybody here is familiar with sororities but they got these big pictures on the wall or houses where it's got like all the pictures of all the sorority sisters each year it's like a yearbook photo or something and she went through and reimagined herself in every era so she said she shows herself in the like what would 1910 madeline look like versus 1970 madeline you get the feathered hair and it's like a really cool project really cool unfortunately madeline when i'm looking at this and this is great um i <laughs> it's so this stuff's so funny um but i still don't know what you did because you haven't included any content about it so you're showing the work and that's great but this this um this reeks of old school you know ten, the last 10 20 years of design has been hey let me show you all the stuff and then you don't tell me anything about it okay so so I, I really want to see more. I, I need to see at least something, um, you know, because I can click all around this and it doesn't it doesn't pull me forward. I don't know what I don't know. I don't really know what I'm looking at. OK, um, compare that with Tejal. So Tejal is one of my students at New Pragmatic and Tejal has been working on a, a lot of projects. So she's got Pindia board and Bergen bread and then um, City bus kind of, kind of drug in there, a little late. Um, company she's worked with, she she she's done, um, she's done uh, freelance video work for quite a while. Uh, that's how you end up working for the NFL Network and Oprah Winfrey and CNBC, etc. But um, I would say that the um, the zooms here, Tejal, are a bit aggressive. Um, and, and I say that, you know, Tejal's a student of mine, um, but I haven't like backed away from her work in a long time to look at it as a whole. Um, but when you get into like Bergen Bread, let's view the case study. Um, this is a legit case study. It's taken a minute to load. Um, oh, main, I scrolled way too fast. Um, she's got a video, but she's also got the, you know, Madeline to, to like your Ridges project. Um, she's, you know, she's got a video as well, but she's written a little bit, kind of telling me what this is, giving me an overview, telling me who the team was, how long they worked on it. Um, you know, yeah, it won awards, uh, surprise, Tejal's amazing. Uh, she shows like, you know, she had, this was all spurred off a previous video that she did. So she takes me through, you know, she takes you through what the challenges were, um, time management, what the process was, um, what the visual direction was. So this is like, if you if you will, a mood board, um, how it took shape, started storyboarding it. So these are actual uh, visuals from the video production, um, and then. Um, yeah, this is kind of loading slow, but again, I've got a lot of tabs open. Um, but these are videos, so this is stop motion in action, and it should play in line. And this is like what it became. So you get the idea. Um, oh, hey, it's way more robust than I thought it was. Anyway. Um, Iterations on the opening shot. So this is how it changed over time, and that's that's really you know when I come back over here, Nicholas, uh, to, to Nicholas's piece, and I realize at some point I, I feel like I'm talking like like I'm doing portfolio pot like right now. It's not what I'm doing right now. Um, I just want to check in here. Yeah, we got James. When I'm looking at this, um, you know. I have to get into the PDF to see like how this thing like evolved. 
and there's there's nothing keeping you from just doing that in HTML and CSS. So so this is kind of the the world that you're you're in. Like Nicholas, I think you've got a lot more experience, but it's not presented in a way that I can just get into it. I've got to like go over another hurdle to get to the the stuff. And here, you know, if I decided, you know, hey, I'm on my phone and I'm gonna put this in mobile view real quick. I'm on my phone and I wanna just read about this case study. Well, I can do that. There's there's nothing about that, you know, there's nothing about this that I have to go escape into a PDF and pinch and zoom and all that stuff. So, you know, the PDF thing is fine, but you're gonna lose some people there, all right? I, I, I really think that if you can just like, let's get it out of the PDF, like use this as the intro, that's fine. But I should like, let me scroll down and let me see the rest of it. Um, let's go over here to um, Christine. So Christine, um, UX designer and researcher from Boston creating projects, uh, creating products which delight and empower people. Techstars uh, Boston, Signify, which is Phillips Lighting. Um, it's, I, I like it that she's broken down like, hey, I do graphic design, I do coding, here's my about me. So she really quickly is kind of saying, I've got work here and I've got work there. And if you want to know more about me, I go over here. Uh, my UX UI work. So she's got, um, and, and I love this. It tells me right away what she's done. Uh, user research, uh, wireframing, UX, UI design, user research, wireframing, uh, user interviews, wireframing, UX and UI design, um, stakeholder research, UI design, usability testing, UX and UI design. So quite a bit of work here. I am curious. I just want to jump in and inspect this really fast. Um, so, so this is a Wix site. I can tell that right away. Um, it's interest. That's interesting because she's got coding here, and I'm just curious. It looks like that's just going to take me to. Okay, so that's a it's a page on her site called GitHub. Um, this looks a lot like BusyBus. Um, my introduction to coding began with LiveJournal, a blogging website from the 90s. I began tinkering with code. Um, today, my coding is more focused around user-centered design. Currently, I am developing my skills in HTML and CSS. Good. I am begin um, at the beginning of my journey, but my goals as a coder um, is to are to um, develop skills which empower me to create uh, interactive and user-centered designs so what's great here crystal is that while I immediately didn't recognize you as a I didn't recognize you as a um, a boot camp student because of the amount of work that I saw on the home page the the coding the link to coding kind of took me there and it, it suddenly I was at I was at, there was this um, fight between the Wix site and the coding and then when I read the coding the Wix site makes sense um, because it's you know you're you're getting started on this journey. Um, so I, I appreciate the, I appreciate you being upfront about that. Um, but I just, I wonder if there's enough here to really even warrant the tab. Um, so your graphic design work. So this is um, Youth Enrichment Services, Girl Develop at Boston. Um, okay, so this, the, like the coding tab, this really isn't all that deep. It's it's frankly taking away from, if I go back to the home, it's taking focus away from these projects, um, I think, which are the thrust of what you're doing, um, to the point that I would almost, I would almost get rid of this and focus on 
I, you know, maybe put a link to your about me in here. Like, I'm Christine. You click it, it takes you to the about me. And let's see what the about me is. Um, okay. Um, so you're in... So you, you've jumped into information design at Bentley University. Okay. Um... After leading a website redesign at the nonprofit, I was working for Youth Enrichment Services. Okay, so now these things are all kind of fitting together. Um, you went through the UI, UX UI course. Um, I wrote most of that. Um, again, that was all um, the thinkful thing. That was all based off some uh, the 2016 um, launch of a designer track from Block. So Block thinkful eight block and whatever um so i think this gives a pretty good idea of how you got to now um what i'm really interested in it's something that 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 i've spoken with spoken at some length about uh, if you've been around the new pragmatic program at all um i want to i want to in that about you i want to know what you've learned um there, there's like all sorts of things from the various um, various program, uh, the various projects that you've done that are this that they are this um, growth moment, if you will. Um, so she's built a restaurant kiosk, which is fun. Um, I've I've got a kiosk actual prototyping uh, vid video that um, is a kiosk, but it's like for a grocery store. Um, if we go through, yeah, that's a graphic. Um, we could we could make this better, e even though I mean, if this is an HTML CSS, it'd be a little easier to control. But um, you know, I would want I, I want this to like align with that that arrow. Um, I want to be able to read these. Um, yeah, so it's kind of you know. Inter this is interesting. I'm not sure why this is over off to the side, but it is. It is interesting to see like the the level of you know the, the fact that you've got your Figma prototype in here. That's that's nice. Um, but but really the core is always this lessons learned bit. Okay, but that's buried. I gotta I gotta like really dive in here. And that's something you know. I talked to Tejal about the same thing. You know, we, if we come out of this for a second and you know, I, I get rid of that. Um, Tejal's got the what I what I learned as well, and it's you know it's always doo -doo -doo, the key takeaways. Um, but Tejal's Tejal's begun wrapping those into the about page, which I like. I think it's I think it, it's a stronger usage. You know, I design, I animate, and code, and you know. Her story, you know, m it moves around a bit because um, she's she's changed she's changed uh, what she does. Uh, you know, she went from acting to motion graphics and video productions, and she's won these awards. It's always it's never a bad thing to show off your trophies, people. Just for the record, um, but. You know, even in Tejal's case, I still want to I want to talk about how the projects have changed you, okay? And you've you know we we have those opportunities, um, we have those opportunities, and you've already written about them. It's just finding a way to organize them, and I, I would really just elevate that. I'm gonna look at Ajuna as well while we're here. So Ajuna, um, you've got the one project. It looks like it. It looks like it's pretty early in your process. Um, you know, let's be, let's be your case day. Let's take a look. Um, this is the Your Space app. This is um, Blockbox. Um, you know, we we've all had we we you know everybody who's went through the program's done this application. Um, Tejal and um, Chris, 
Crystal or Christine, sorry, um, did the the Busy Bus. Yeah, Christine did the Busy Bus app. So, you know, I'm seeing similar things here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's get down to the what I learned. Where, where is it be? Where it be? Takeaways. Yeah, so you've got that takeaways buried right now. Let's go into your about. Now, this is very much the story of you. Um, and I don't mind the, the story of you. I wouldn't start up here. The, the fun facts about you, not the important thing. Um, I, I love gardening and I love cooking too, but like that's very secondary. I would move that down. I would really start this on my journey into design. Um, but I still would like, you've got those takeaways. Like what did you learn? What did you learn as you were getting into this? Okay. Focus on that. Like, get that into this about page. All right, and um, and that's where I'm going to kind of wrap it up at today. Um, you know, it's 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 always good to, to kind of see uh, what these projects are like. Um, I'm going to, you know, give you know, if I had to put these all side by side, I'm going to I'm going to give the win to Tejel. Um, te Tejel's, you know, I I really do like. A lot, a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing over here, I, you know, with the format makes me fight to get to it, and and in that in that fight, you know, I would say that Nicholas has some interesting work, but I got to fight to get to it. So I don't, I, you know, I don't care for the format. Um, Tadjul, you know, she's showing everything. I just want a few more projects there. Um, and let's wrap it up there. Let's wrap it up there. So we'll come back to this in a bit because um, today, at, today at noon, it's two hours from now, it'll be time for the feedback loop.